My name is Mike Montalto. I'm a PhD uh, cellular and molecular biologist. I run a, a research program here that's really designed to, um, uh, to deliver on GE's vision for healthcare reimagined, which is really uh, going to change the paradigm in healthcare. And, um, and the idea here is that we're going to develop technologies that's going to enable us to see disease at the earliest time points before um, the symptoms actually even occur. So just as an example, we're working on technologies here in the lab that are designed to identify Alzheimer's disease uh, even before symptoms occur. Uh, and that's very important because we know the major symptoms in Alzheimer's disease is, is memory loss. And there's very good chance that even with good therapies, we won't be able to reverse that memory loss for some of these patients. And so what we really want to do is be able to identify that uh, disease much earlier. And so in order to do that, we need to develop molecular probes that are going to see those signatures of the disease at the genetic and the protein level before they actually occur. And we're not just doing it for Alzheimer's disease, we're doing it for cancer and we're doing it for cardiovascular and many other diseases. And so um, what you're seeing here in the lab, and we're starting here in the chemistry, uh, this is Natish, he's working on some of the chemistry agents that we would be using um, to detect some of these signatures of disease. And he's doing some of the experiments here at the bench uh, to prove that uh, these chemistries actually would bind to and detect those signatures of disease before, um, before they get out of control. I think that the technologies that we're working on are absolutely going to impact the future of healthcare because really to identify disease early, to give physicians more informed treatment opportunities, uh, more informed decision support when they make their treatment decisions so that they can say that somebody not only has cancer but they have cancer that's likely to be malignant or cancer that will respond to this drug or not respond to that drug, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to make an impact on the future of healthcare. I know what you're thinking, biology at GE, I thought they just made light bulbs, but that's actually not true. As you can see all around me, this is all fairly sophisticated equipment designed for us to do the analyses for uh, a lot of our biology and chemistry reagents. Uh, this is uh, Ken Fish. Ken Fish is one of our PhD biochemist who's developing right now one of those probes that I was talking about for Alzheimer's disease. And he's testing one of those probes on some of the glass slides and tissue that would be an indication of, of uh, those early signs of Alzheimer's disease. Like I said, we are doing this for cancer and for cardiovascular disease. And I know what you're thinking is how, do you, how can you tell if one of those probes are binding and what are you really looking at? And so what we do after Ken does his staining is we, uh, we take some of those slides and we'll bring them into this room. This is our, one of our microscopy rooms. This is uh, Max Seal. Max is working on, uh, right now actually what he has on there is a um, tumor section from prostate, I think, and he's looking at uh, some of the uh, chemistries that we've been developing for the identification of prostate cancer. Um, not just for the identification, but also in some instances we want to light up that tumor during surgery and do a guided biopsy so that the surgeon actually knows he's getting the right part of the cancer so that the pathologist can look at it on the biopsy and that's actually very important um, uh, for prognosis and for early health. So what I'll do is I'll keep walking you down through the bio labs. This is the tissue part. You saw the chemistry. I'm going to take you into the um, tissue culture room. We have uh, one of our scientists here working on uh, tissue culture. She is currently growing um, some of the cells that we use in our experiments that we would use to identify some of these proteins or genes that are expressed during some of the earliest stages of, of disease. Um, and uh, I know it looks like those cells are growing in cranberry juice, but that's actually tissue culture media that has all the good stuff that uh, these cells like to, uh, to use to live and to grow. And she's working under there in a sterile environment. And so, uh, you know, what I've been able to show you is uh, some of the chemistries that we need to see those signatures of disease, some of the, oh yeah, some of the biology, and actually, in fact, the, some of the biology that we've been working on, or at least in growing some of the cells. I was talking that we grow all sorts of cells, and this is one of about 16 incubators that we have here at Global Research where we grow our cells in this happy environment of uh, 37 degrees and nice humidity. So we developed the chemistries to find disease. We do the research on the biology so that we can find those targets for disease. And then what we want to be able to do is see that disease. And so in order to do that, we've got to do the imaging, the engineering, and the physics behind developing new imaging equipment. And so what I'm going to show you is one of the um, new imaging devices that we've been working at here at uh, Global Research. This is a, an intraoperative surgical device. This is Deb Lee, one of our scientists who's been helping develop this device. And uh, I'll, give, I'll let her give you a few minutes uh, to explain what this does, but I can tell you that um, one of the 
coolest things about this device is it's something that could be used in surgery to give the surgeon almost an extra set of eyes. So not only is he looking at the, uh, the actual surgical field and the tissue uh, that he may want to do a resection on or do uh, surgery on, but we're going to give him an extra set of eyes to see those molecular signatures that he might not otherwise be able to see. And this is a, a demo that Deb's got set up to show you how it works. What you see on the screen is a color video image, a black and white near infrared image, and in the bottom left is a merged image of the two together. So what happens is when you have a fluorescent dye in the field, that will actually appear to be glowing in the near infrared image. So here we have Polly Pocket, and her shirt actually glows like a fluorescent dye. So in this image you can see she's glowing in this image, and the merged image you can see the location of that dye. If you put it back in there, so the, surger, so the surgeon now sees the surgical field and thinks to himself, where is the tumor? Where are those signatures of disease? Am I really seeing them? And he can look under one set and see the tumor, and he can look under another camera, and in another field he can see those proteins and genes that are being expressed within that tumor. So it's really a whole new ballgame. So that's essentially the biology lab. These are some of the scientists who are working on it. And, uh, and really, it is truly healthcare reimagined, where we are imagining what the future of healthcare can be for the realization of, uh, of early health.